So uh, what do you feel like is your biggest struggle in business right now? Our biggest struggle right now, I would say to grow is more qualified employees who actually are not just looking for part-time employment because we are offering you a flexible position where you're like, hey, I can't work today. I need that day off. I'm going out in town. Um, so we need strong employees who actually have attention to detail who would love to work and also traction with our social media. Okay. While we are never without a client, we are always booked and busy. We rarely have openings. We have an ongoing wait list at all times. We do have openings for commercial accounts at all times because that's after hours. However, our traction on social media matters just because we're always getting referrals, but yet when we go to Instagram, we have maybe 150 followers. Mm -hmm. In uh, Facebook, we might have 2,000 likes, 2,000 followers. Where are we lacking? You know, so we're making reels every day. We're making posts every day, but we would like to see likes. We would like to see shares. We would like to see support. Mm -hmm. um, you can only ask for so many Google reviews from your clients, your existing clients, especially when they're not leaving. How many Google yeah. reviews can they, they get? No one's leaving. Right. You know? <laughs> And if you're at capacity or it's the same people coming back, we can't all keep right, rewriting yeah. those Google reviews. Okay. So, so we, we initially, initially had a need for a space. space. Um, we, we actually just signed, signed at least two weeks ago for a new office space. So we're excited. So that just goes to show like how much we're growing. Like we've outgrown our other space. We need more space for more equipment. We now offer camper cleaning. So it's like we're doing RV and camper cleanings for the summertime. I'm constantly thinking of new innovative ways to help people while they're enjoying their time. So summertime, you're pulling out your camper. You're like, wow. We didn't do a good job shutting this down in September. Mm -hmm. Now we offer that. So the need is just there to specifically like kind of get our name out there more yeah. to where we continuously can grow in all different areas of West Michigan versus just the ones that we've been in. We're not really stagnant there because a friend of a friend of a friend is always reaching out to us, but more so like the people who don't know that they can have a better house cleaner, a better business yeah. cleaner, a yeah. better salon cleaner, a better boutique cleaner. We literally clean so many different things. And, and it's really, it sounds almost like even if it's not currently listed, you would consider claiming exactly. that. Exactly. Yeah. As like, long as you're not, as long as our safety is not put into harm's way, we are, we'll clean it. <laughs> as long as we're not going to go home sick, we're going to clean it. No one wants to be sick. No, let's, let's just avoid all of that nonsense. Yeah. Okay. Where all, you said social media a little bit. Where all are you playing right now? What social media? You mentioned Reels. Yep. So you're doing Facebook and Instagram. Yep. Anywhere else? No. no. Oh, okay. no, Facebook and Instagram. So it shares. Um, we post from one, it goes to the other, that type of thing. We looked into email marketing at one point where I used to use Clavio for my boutiques to okay. where it's like I would send emails. But what are we kind of emailing about? So that became a little difficult because who's adding to our email list that's that a client? Everyone who emails us, they are a client at some point. So mm -hmm. it's like we will email them specials and let them know like, hey, if someone has a, a day off or something, we'll say, hey, this is a discounted rate. How about you hop in and get a deep clean? That type of thing if you were a one-time clean. But other than that, it's like we didn't feel the need for email. Mm -hmm. So right now it's Facebook and Instagram. Okay. And who you have so many levers that you can pull right now okay. with what you're already doing. Oh my gosh. So yeah. I... Oh, yes. perfect. I'm excited, Parker. I'm excited. We're buzzing over here. We've, it's not like we've been professionally stalking. Is that like, I don't know if we're supposed to say that, but I, well, I'll, we're not supposed to say 90% of the things that we say. So professional, we professional stalk before we, before we meet with somebody, mostly because we want to get a, an idea of what all you do. And it's amazing to me to kind of what Parker said before, meeting you and talking to you is so different than what I see on socials. And even on the website, you don't really get to see me. I'm right. so busy. Yeah. It, yeah. But it's there's there's like there, you're missing almost like a personality and that softness and that I'm your I'm your near corner vibe that we would love to see because okay. I feel like that's the emotional pull, right? Okay. We know that for you the story comes from I'm giving you your time back, I'm giving you your life back. Right. This is your form of self care. Right. Is you don't have to worry about this, and I and that's the part that I feel like is just maybe okay. missing the mark a little bit. So who all is managing? your socials right now so chris and i tend to like go back and forth where we take on one week off one week yeah. um we figured out who is better at what okay so she might be better at putting together the captions and things like that whereas i might be more so the forefront so you'll see me the one out networking things like that kind of like talking like how we're doing now mm -hmm. chatting with the people um doing more of the consults especially the emails so i'll be like doing all the emails to where She's able to take the pictures, put together the reels, attract the music that everyone is um, yeah. liking right now, saving the audio expressions, mm -hmm. things like that. So we have a good balance, but that's also a goal of ours to where in a year, we'd love to have someone that just takes over that. Yeah. Just it's like, support. you know what we look, we know, you know what we're looking for, you know what colors we like, you know what our aesthetic is, and now you're running with it. 
So I guess this is kind of where, I mean, now that we've got a really good rundown of where everything is and what all you guys are doing and all the amazingly cool stuff you're doing. Seriously, the mommy clean is the one that, ooh, it hit me like right in the chest. <laughs> it was awesome. I was so excited. And then seeing that you were pairing up with doulas and oh, it was, that was awesome. Um, but really, I think we're you and I get to take over. I mean, <laughs> Love yeah. it. I'm excited to hear what you have to say. All, All right. right. So, so we mentioned professional stalking. So do you want to talk about some of the video stuff that we saw? Yes. But first, I do want to talk about your profile. Perfect. So when I open up your Facebook, mm -hmm. providing residential and commercial cleaning services in GR and surrounding areas, enjoy your space. Do you think that's a reflection of it's so your, old number uh, one well yes yes yeah so because that like that bio says nothing like you right. just sold to us and it's bef is from before i even was a partner so that should definitely probably be changed enjoy your space is definitely still our motto anytime we're like text them we're like have a good thing enjoy your space that type of thing we hope you enjoy your space but for sure like we're not just offering just residential and commercial cleans like yeah and how does it stand out we're not standing out and there's not and there's nothing in there that tells a story so you are completely engaging and i'm going to guarantee that christina is the same mm -hmm. and everybody you're bringing in right that has but it has no personality and even from the imagery you have the logo which as the profile picture perfect yeah but i would love to see something of you okay like you are we're essentially asking that somebody open their door to somebody they don't know right to come look through their garbage in their house and their disaster and feel like it's safe to have you there, but also that I don't have to be embarrassed. Right. And right now, it's it's missing that. It feels very corporate and buttoned up. Mm -hmm. And oh I'm just God. about to say that it 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 sounds like you have a hundred locations. Yeah. Like it like that's what it looks. Not like. not there yet. No. Yeah. Maybe someday. Yeah. But we're, we're and but you, but even then, you've talked about when you get bigger, you still want it to feel like it's intimate and personal. Exactly. exactly. It's still the same people coming in. It's the same comfortable level. And I think that little tweak is going to go do wonders for you. Nice. Now, I like all of your time lapses and stuff that you're doing and like these little clips of you guys just like working and doing your thing. But like, I got to see way more of that. Like, I, I want to see you talking about like, maybe, maybe even if you can figure out a way to make it not sound like you're putting the client on the spot right. or maybe ask first. Yeah. And just be like, you know, hey, we came into this house today and this is what we had to do. And here's how we did it, you know, and and basically just like just to give me a window into what it looks like to work with you and how much you actually care. Just stuff from this interview, like take all the reels that we're going to make out of this and just post them about you just genuinely talking about how, you know, like like basically just. Like how many fucks you give? Yeah, but, exactly. You know, <laughs> let's be honest. That's true. Exactly. Right. Because where we give zero fucks, yeah. you give a lot of fucks. Yeah. Like, and that's Literally. that's what makes you special. Yeah. And um, you know, the, I guess that was one of the other concerns that I had as I was looking through some of the videos. Is I we everybody loves to see before and after. Mm -hmm. And I see some of those befores. I'm like, oh my god, that that could be my kitchen. Oh my god, <laughs> that pile of dishes. That is mine. And almost to feel like. We want to know that you're not just going to grab a picture from my house without my permission. Oh no, and have, feel, yeah, and I know I'm going to guarantee yeah. that. I figured you you guys have permission, but yeah. even saying like when we walked in, Alicia was so concerned about this pile of dishes. Right. We 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 wanted to take care of that for her, mm -hmm. and showing the before and after. But right. putting it in the perspective of Alicia was concerned. The client knows that we're doing this, and I think that makes a huge difference because then it feels like. There's no judgment there. Right. Exactly. Like we're gonna we're gonna actually use her name, or you can use my initials or yeah. something. So it's a little bit less mm -hmm. personal. But talking about not just what we did, but how they felt after. Okay. So she finally felt like she could go into the kitchen and clean now. Right. It's what does what joy, what new life do I get because I don't have to do the thing that you just did for me. Nice. Okay. I think that emotional piece is gonna make a huge difference. Okay. And I love the okay, and I'm a huge nerd for ASMR. My daughter and I will sit down and watch. Actually, we watch restocking videos on yeah. the kitchens all the time. It's a sickness. Yeah, the noise. <laughs> oh, it's between that and like they're all pretty and they're all lined up and they all go in the fridge and oh, it's amazing. Don't don't judge me. Satisfying. I mean, for the record, my kitchen looks nothing like that, but it looks so pretty. But even things like my, if you could do like an elevated video of like getting the lines in the carpet when you vacuum mm -hmm. and something as simple as that, it is so like I just can't stop. Right. And then knowing, oh, that could be my carpet. 
it draws you in, especially when we know, okay, this is now, this is in Ada, or this is in Easttown, or this is in Rockford. Okay. Um, being able to know it's kind of in my backyard, which means you could be in my yard. Right, doing exactly. Doing the things in my home. Okay. I think that would make a huge difference. Yes. Love it. And also with, so let's be real here. With the people that you're targeting, mm-hmm. it's not, it's not like, how do I say this without like being offensive to people? Oh boy. <laughs> This is going to be good. <laughs> well, because what I'm trying to say is like the the people that you work with have money. You know? Right. So. Like, I mean, especially to invest in just having somebody come in and do this. There's a, it's a level of investment. Mm-hmm. Not necessarily. We're not talking about necessarily thousands of dollars. We're not. I, I have no idea what your pricing structure looks like. But we're but it still takes a level of investment and a comfort in your finances to be able to afford to do that yeah. or even do it as a one time clean. Yeah. yeah. So with that. The, the people that we're targeting are the people who value their time yeah. more than their money. Mm-hmm. And what, so what I would kind of assume, because like I don't hire cleaners, but what I would assume is I would kind of want to know that I can trust you to be in my home or in my office building and not be a problem, right. you know, and not like be looking through my shit, and, yeah. you know, like, yeah. like all of that sort of thing. So I think with... With that kind of comes a, a need for a more professional look, you know, and that's not something that anybody wants to hear because it does get to be an investment to be able to do that. However, like, I think if you were to do something at least like, I don't know, buy like a cheap camera for yourself or even just hire like a team like ours to come out and do some content for you, you know, just something like that. Like, I think the photos are okay, but the videos are very clearly shot on your yeah. cell phone. Mm-hmm. So, and and what that shows me as a, you know, as a higher end consumer is that you don't care that much about your brand. Okay. And if, if I want to trust you to come in and money is not a factor for me, mm-hmm. I want to see that like you look legit, okay. you know, and, and that I can trust you over the mom with a bucket Amen. who's yeah. doing the exact same thing yeah. with a cell phone. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, it makes total sense. It's that kind of that, just that next step. And it's actually just reassuring because I've already, you know, I'm always thinking of ahead of the next thing. And I've been part of a lot of networking groups where one of them over in Granville, they had someone who wanted to join the group who was like a professional. That's what she did. She's like, I'm taking pictures. And I was like, okay, we need to find the time. Yeah. I need to find the time and the, and the specific clients who are okay with having someone third some third party in their space just watching us work also that way we can actually do the work while someone else is just recording yeah, yeah. because yeah. they're all just time. there hanging out there, mm-hmm. there yeah. i think there's also a level of consistency and branding that again it's just that kind of next half a step up okay. so the graphics and things that we're seeing are a little all over the place like there's not necessarily a consistent color scheme i would love to see just even some subtle branding somewhere okay. in your reels whether that's like on somebody's shirt. So if you guys have like uniforms or even just a little like footnote brand logo down on the right corner of the okay. video. It's just something that if somebody maybe doesn't stop, it starts to register some brand recognition. Okay. Yeah. So we know that everybody's in speed scroll, especially when it comes to reels. Like if it does not grab my attention, what, three seconds? It's a gold less, rush level. Less, less than, than three seconds. Okay. So if they're not going to stop because it's not their video today, we want to make sure that somewhere in the back of their head, they're like, oh. I know this. I know this brand. Yeah, because what what people don't understand about like social media when it comes to video content, especially, is that nobody's buying off of one video unless that's your mission video, because they've already seen a ton of content from you before. So it takes anywhere from ten to thirty touches mm-hmm. for someone to even consider buying from you. Okay. You know, and you don't seem like you have that issue because you're always booked all the time, which is. Off. Fantastic. But when you want to scale, that's going to be an issue. Mm-hmm, yeah. So with um, with that, what we really want to try and do is make sure that they like even even just quick swiping past it, they knew it's your post. Absolutely. So like, if you ever watch any of like my content, what's always consistent in all of my content? Ridiculous amounts of black and red. <laughs> I mean, it's, ev- it's color. It's, it's everywhere. 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 And what is mine? Mine is generally awkward and pink. Holy yep. mother of God, there's pink everywhere. So it's those little things where somebody goes, oh, that must be Alicia because dear God, that's pink. Or oh, Parker must be doing something because it's black and red, but I don't have time today. Yeah. I also think even for website and on socials, 
like we see in a couple of the reels, we get a level of personality. Like there's a person, but I'm going to let somebody in my home that I haven't necessarily met yet. Mm -hmm. And it would be great to have just more people. So you have a ton of stock photos on your website. Would love to see those be actual pictures of you guys or showcasing the team. You guys have obviously the, your two founders, the founder and the co-owner, but having something with the team or that's another great use for email is meet our team, meet our new member or meet our new person, or she's celebrating a one year anniversary of being with us. Those kinds of things add personality, but it also lends to the, I'm somebody you can trust because I'm willing to show you my face. Yeah. Also with email and even just social in general, you're missing a big opportunity to do lead magnets mm -hmm. and help people. Okay. When you said that you had no use for email, I like I cringed a little bit because I was like, <laughs> no, but you do. Okay. So like what I would suggest is doing like a, you know, I don't know, some sort of like tip of the week, you know, like cleaning tip of the week or, or even like a case study of the week. You know, this is how we figured out how to, you know, get this stain out of this carpet. And, you know, this is what we used, mm -hmm. you know, so it's the little stuff like in between that you can help with because they still need to hire you. You know, they still need to work with you. But if it's just little stuff like that, you are now the source of information. Okay. You're so, the expert. So that's why we're actually doing this podcast yeah. is because we want people to associate us with okay. being right. the place to go for the information that they need for digital marketing and content creation. So for you, like... I want to see like how you do everything and okay. how ungodly complex it is just so that I can say, holy shit, she knows what she's doing. I need to hire her because that looks like way too much work. That's the big one is I don't like I see how much you're doing to make my house clean or to see you do an overhaul. And I look at it and go, I don't want to do any of that. I would much rather spend six hours doing literally anything else. Dental work. I would speak over cleaning. <laughs> Not sure about that, but I, I'm for sure I will. you will. Okay. I absolutely will. But I mean, it's those kinds of things where it's just that extra point of contact. The other thing I know we we had talked earlier about social media and not feeling like you're getting engagement. You're not getting responses right. to things. Yeah. So what, stronger calls to action. Instead of maybe going call and book today, use those still, but call us to see how we can help you. Okay. So it's shifting it from call us for an appointment or call us to get booked and Call to see how we can support you or how we can help give you more time back. The other piece then is having your followers tag somebody that knows that they know needs help. Okay. So when we're talking about like the mommy cleans right. or those house cleans, tag the, the soon to be mom who could really use some help or tag the stressed out mom on summer vacation that cannot seem to keep her kitchen table clean okay. with everybody being home. It's things like that where it helps to spread the word. It just kind of gets on somebody's radar. Mm -hmm. And we know it helps your algorithm. So really with how many people you have as following you on Facebook especially, we want to see more of them actually seeing you. And that's not going to happen until your your followers are engaging. I was even Thanks. just thinking like when you said that, I'm like, friends don't let friends have a messy house. You know? <laughs> like, like, they do. They do. Oh, right. Oh, we do. But, fr but friends also want friends to have fun or friends that have more time, yeah. whether yeah. that's and, and like, especially this time of year, I just think of every mom like me that has kids home for summer. I'm like, that my house will never be clean until September. Mm -hmm. It's just not going to happen. It's okay. I have resigned myself to just <laughs> dealing with clutter everywhere. But I think it's those pieces where pulling out the emotion. Okay. I know you can do it because you're, you're literally talking. You're with, doing it. You're, right you're doing right. it right now. <laughs> And, I'm, and Christina the same way, because I see glimpses yeah. of it when she, like on some of those reels and some of those posts, it's lean really yeah. into it. You guys have the skill to do the work. Now we have to pull out what the value is to me beyond just my house is clean. Okay. One other thought would just be like the lead magnet piece to get that, because that'll get you more engagement. Even like a five point list of how to prep for your house cleaner to be there. Okay. Yeah. like and it, So then weird. it's something where somebody goes, oh, thank God. Now I know, I, I know what they expect me to have right. done before. And that can be a lead magnet or you can do things like how to here's our 10 ways to get out these stains and there's coffee is this one yeah. and wine is this one and blood is this one and then there's one where it's just burn the house down and walk away right like yeah. <laughs> just there something where there's additional value even if it's something you can't be there for okay. they'll equate you to being able to get okay. blood stains out of furniture right. yep because yeah, I, I send the leap i send that to them when they're before their first clean but over time again with you know being complacent it's like 
we're saying like, oh, you need a reset. How, what does a reset look like? A lot of times clients can reset themselves. Or what, and even going then back to the emotion, what does it feel like to all of a sudden have everything in its place mm-hmm. and then have a place and everything's labeled and it feels right. comfortable and not so yeah. erratic? Oh, like I already have and I like a video idea for you of just showing like the the point of view of like a stressed out mom just like looking around her house and it's just nuts everything's going insane around her and then cleaner shows up and it's just a exhale and it's all P- and it's all quiet. all POV yeah and then as soon as like then it resets yep. to her walking back through the door and everything is quiet and calm and clean and put away. And your st- your team members smiling, going, "Oh, we're I'm just finishing up. I'll I'll see you in a couple weeks." Mm-hmm. And walking out, and it's just chill. Yeah, that is yeah. ooh. My even it, I don't know, bumps I, on that one. I'm even thinking <laughs> like like something like that, and like revealing just this like mess of a mother character, just like close why? air all over the why place don't you like just every use my name let's use my name find us on I sunday right morning <laughs> right call us on sunday morning you'll see us facetime <laughs> right and and just make it like like the you know cleaner lady is all like nice and put together and she's just like oh, thank you <laughs> oh thank god you're here you know with the lead magnets and getting engagement with those basically what you want to do there is say um you know hey we just came up with this thing who wants it you know, or if you want this, comment this word below or whatever. That way they have to tell you that they want it. And what that tells the platform is, oh, this is a post that's actually keeping people on the platform, which is what they want to do. Because the more people that are kept on the platform for longer amounts of time, the more ads they can show to them. Therefore, the more money they make. Yeah. So um, in reply to every comment, right. mm-hmm. even if it doesn't warrant a reply, like, throw down some random emoji or something like people are really scared to do that for some reason but like what do people do when you get a weird cut co- like it's, you just look it at doesn't it hurt. Like, it doesn't I don't hurt. even know what to do yeah with. And, and you're just like oh that that's weird scroll and that's it and it's gone yeah you know so yeah but i don't i don't necessarily think you're gonna have much of an issue like overthinking with stuff like that you know later if you wanted to you know collect email addresses and things like that you can just throw it on the website mm-hmm. you know and say like click this link and once it you know once you throw it in your um email and your info and whatever we'll send it to you mm-hmm. so you can and then it grows to- that email list so it's not just reaching out to your existing customers it's now potential anyone customers. who went to the website nice so then, and then that. that's perfect for hey i've got a cleaner that has a full free day hey who first come first serve and you can send it out to a thousand people right somebody that's kind of been sitting on the fence or isn't sure or finally maybe has a free moment goes oh thank god i actually do really need this so it's it's getting in front of new people the other thought i had is considering that is it is a level of investment playing on on a a couple of the new platforms as well you guys are creating a ton of great video content Mm -hmm. and those little tweaks of kind of leveling it up are minor but your consistency is incredible Like normally when we sit down with clients or talk about, it's like, would you please post something? Just one. Yeah, just, yeah. Like, just one. And, and we're like posting and we're like, hello, what's happening? Like, yeah, right. and I, I love, love that. that. Yeah. And so I think that consistency is great. Okay, I think play, try playing on LinkedIn a little bit. Lean a little bit more into the commercial stuff, obviously, because that's businesses also. Right. But your people that are strivers, they're people who are committed to their careers, which means they're not necessarily committed to cleaning their house are all on those platforms. Okay. So starting to play a little bit there. And then especially because you've already created great video content, throw it in TikTok. Even if it gets you nowhere, you're basically repurposing the same material in a couple of different places where you might get, capture somebody that you wouldn't have before. Perfect. It takes almost no extra effort, right? Whereas you're uploading it to Insta, so then it goes to Facebook. Okay. You upload the same video to TikTok, and then you upload the same thing with maybe a commercial tweak right into LinkedIn. Okay. Yeah, I so I would also say make sure that you're um like adding a location mm-hmm. every single time. Okay. And don't just make it Grand Rapids. Mm-hmm. Like like it don't make it something big. Make it somewhere like recently I've been posting like Byron Center, okay. you know, or like Wayland. Think or, second think secondary cities. Okay. So if you're in Rockford and honestly, even doing it by where the video is taken is really powerful because then they're seeing that you're moving around and it's yeah, oh, this does apply to me. I didn't realize they did. Right. 
Southern Grand Rapids. I didn't realize that it's like- We do get a lot of questions on that. Like, oh, I didn't know you traveled. I'm like, oh yeah, we travel all the time. Okay. Yeah. And with um, with using certain keywords and stuff in your captions, you can also tell the algorithm, hey, this is who we want to show this to. Okay. You know, if you're routinely saying over and over, um, you know, yeah, we're at this house today in wherever, as opposed to just tagging the location. Obviously, like do doing both is going to get you a lot mm -hmm. better targeting on that. And then the last piece at some point, if you're really wanting to get into that scaling, is looking at ads. I think especially on Facebook ads, think targeting kind of that mommy group, but keeping it focused on getting your time back, mm -hmm. not having to focus that so much on the house and you get to focus on the home, okay. that kind of piece. Um, I think when you're ready to take on, you know, a crap ton of new clients, that would be kind of where I'd start. Okay. So as you staff up, you get a little bit bigger and you really want to double down in a certain location, keep the geography tight, make it so you don't have to drive 20 minutes between stops. Right. It's a five or 10 minute drive or dear God, it'd be amazing if it was right next door. Yeah. Then, then right. Like you just yeah. grab, your hand, grab everything, carry it to the next house. So something like that would make it a whole lot easier doing really targeted and really specific advertising. But then leaning into one service instead of like you have all of these different add-ons. All of those things can be talked about later. Mm -hmm. It's what is a one-time clean or what is a weekly clean okay. or just take this off my plate and get your life back. Right. I swear that video of like the point of view of the mom with all the chaos and then coming into a pristine house, if that converted to an ad, oh my goodness. Right. That would that, be it. That would be... Cannot even describe how much that would that would convert. You're gonna have because to clean your house, and you're gonna be the mom for me. Done. I'm sorry. Did you say? Did you say you're gonna clean my house? <laughs> you had me at clean my house. Right. You and the kids, kids all outside. Child, oh, and they'd be happy to go to go crazy in the house for you. Don't worry, guys. What up? If you enjoyed that clip, all you have to do is click up here to see more just like it, or if you want to see the entire podcast. Click up here, and if you want to be on the show, just head to our website. It's in the description below, michiganmarketinginthemorning.com. And if you don't want to miss any of our future episodes, make sure that you hit the bell notification, subscribe, and like this podcast so that you get notified when we upload. See you guys next time.